paintings are dumb. Television is much better, but some losers actually get enjoyment from it. They are called art collectors, which is like stamp collecting, except these stamps are really big. It's a pointless activity for idiots, and it's not just embarrassing, it's also dangerous. Across the world, many paintings are said to be haunted or cursed, some of which famously so, and avoided by superstitious dealers. Such paintings can simply be visually disturbing, or have a tragic backstory. Most are a mix of both, which you will discover in this video. This painting is said to cause the premature death of anyone who sees it. It's even said to have caused the death not only of its creator, but his entire family. That creator is called Zdzislav Bekskinski. Beskins Beskinsi. Zdzislav Bekinsinski. I can't pronounce his name, so let's just call him Jim. Jim was born in 1920s Poland, coming of age in the devastation of World War II and the desperation that followed. These horrors are clearly reflected in the paintings he created. His art is hauntingly nihilistic, often showing the human body in chaotic situations. They are never fully formed or healthy looking bodies though, being somehow deformed, to the point they barely seem human. And tragedy was not just confined to Jim's art. Just when life was going well for Jim, his wife died in 1998, then one year later their only son commits suicide. In 2005, Jim's own life came to an end, when someone broke into his home and stabbed him 17 times. Still, he is remembered as Poland's first great modern artist, scaring millions of children every year with his works. While many of his paintings are just outright eerie, this sole example is said to be cursed. Could it be that in creating this artwork he doomed his family, and that simply by showing it in this video is putting you all at risk? Let's hope not. In the year 2000, this painting was listed on eBay. Depicting a grim looking child beside a large doll, it immediately got attention online. The listing actually came with a long disclaimer, warning anybody faint of heart not to buy it. Within the disclaimer it literally said, this painting may or may not possess supernatural powers, which is never a good thing to hear. The seller genuinely believed the painting to be haunted. They claimed to have seen the boy and doll move within the painting, and even that the boy could step out of the painting into reality. The work itself has an interesting history. It was created sometime during the 1970s, and sold to the Hollywood actor John Marley. Though unclear how, it was discovered on the grounds of an old abandoned brewery, as if intentionally discarded. The elderly couple who discovered the painting took it home with them, but soon grew desperate to get rid of it. In time, 30,000 people would visit the listing, many of which claimed to see the painting move. Most often it was reported the strange hands behind the boy were moving, clawing at the window. Some say those hands also belong to dolls, like the one standing beside him, who has also been reported to move. Perhaps the dolls want to kill the boy, hence why he is known to shift away from them. Eventually the painting was sold for just over a thousand dollars, five times the initial asking price. Its location now is a mystery. What is known is that several people associated with the painting died shortly after coming into contact with it. It's called The Hands Resist Him. In the city of Galveston can be found an old portrait of its namesake, Bernardo de Galvez. Inside a hotel also bearing his name, the portrait has long been said to contain the ghost of de Galvez. All kinds of strange events are connected to it, and from the opening of the hotel, people have been scared of it. They say its eyes follow you around the room, and if you stand too close, it will make you feel cold and dizzy. The most incredible rumour is that you cannot take its photo. Any image you capture of the painting will come out blurry or distorted, as if a ghost is reluctant to be seen. But apparently if you ask the portrait politely, any photo you then take will come out clear. Every day people come here to take a picture of the haunted painting, just to see if the rumours are true. Many leave convinced they are. 
Personally, I don't believe it. This is not the kind of man to haunt a hotel. His nose is too big. In the 1980s, a series of strange paintings were mass-produced, each depicting a young boy crying. They proved popular in Europe, with 50,000 being sold in the UK alone. Then in 1985, it got weird. Newspapers began to report on a series of fires, each at a house where a crying boy painting could be found. Firemen claimed the paintings were found in the rubble of burnt houses, but entirely unscathed, as if fireproof. This was just the beginning. More houses burnt down, and more paintings discovered within them. Before long, the crying boy was said to be cursed. Some said the child painted died in a fire himself, and some kind of supernatural force bonded his ghost to the image. Others claimed gypsy magic was used to create the original version, or that its creator sold his soul to the devil. People genuinely began to fear the painting, believing it caused fires. Many painting owners were seriously injured, and many houses reduced to ash. Eventually, a paranormal researcher claims to have uncovered the truth. According to his story, he tracked down the original painter, an old Italian man, who once knew a young boy whose parents both died in a fire. Every family who adopted this boy died in a tragic fire, causing locals to shun him as the Devil Boy. Eventually, the boy was chased out of town, never to be seen again. But still, this painter felt sorry for the boy, immortalizing him in art. Most now doubt the validity of that story, but the paintings remain infamous, still believed by some to be cursed. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you wish to support my channel, consider leaving a like, comment, or even sharing to social media. All those things help a lot.